Hello, in this video, I'm going to answer the question, do carbs make you retain water? The answer is yes, they do, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so when we include a lot of carbohydrates in our diet, we store the excess glucose that our cells don't need immediately in the form of glycogen. So glycogen is our stored form of glucose. Now, when we store glycogen, we store water along with it with a ratio of about one to three. So for every gram of glycogen that we store, we store about three grams of water along with it. Um, that means that if we're eating more carbohydrates and thus storing more glycogen, that we're also going to be storing more water along with it. Now, that's not a bad thing. That doesn't harm us in any way. Uh, but another thing to consider is that if we're having enough carbohydrates that our glycogen stores are full, then any excess carbohydrates beyond that, we then convert into fatty acids and store as fat. So although it's not harmful, and it actually is helpful when it comes to athletic performance to store glycogen along with the water that goes with it, um, if we're eating beyond that point, then we are going to store more fat, which is not what most of us want to be doing. So when somebody starts a low carb diet, uh, you may have heard that, you know, you lose a lot of weight right away and that it's water weight. Um, that is absolutely true. So in the early stage of a low carb diet, if you lose like five pounds in the first day or two, you are losing water weight because when you're not consuming abundant carbs in your diet, you're burning through your stored glucose. You're burning through that glycogen. So you're using it for fuel. And as you use that glycogen, you're losing the water that you are storing with that glycogen. Uh, so you do lose like five pounds plus or minus, depending on the person, just right away, all in water weight. That also means that the reverse is true. If you've been on a low carb diet and now you're switching to something else and now you're eating carbohydrates again, you're going to replenish those glycogen stores very quickly, even in the first day or two after you start eating carbs again. Uh, which is going to result in another five pounds or so of weight gain. But that's water weight. You're just gaining the water back that you lost to begin with. And so even if, like, let's say you've been on a low-carb diet for a long time, you lost a lot of weight, you're feeling great, and now you're transitioning to something else, don't be alarmed by that five pounds that you might gain right away when you switch back to eating carbs it doesn't mean that you're undoing the good work that you've done. It doesn't mean that you're gaining fat. It just means that because of the addition of carbs back into your diet, you've gained more glycogen and water that goes along with it. Nothing to do with the fat that you have lost. Um, so on average, it's estimated that an average person has about 600 grams of glycogen in their bodies. And this would be a normal carb eating average person. Uh, so that equates to about 1.3 pounds of glycogen. And then if we multiply that by three, that gets us to about 1,800 grams of water or four pounds of water that's being stored just to uh, work with that glycogen in storage. So that's not counting all the other water in your body. That's just your glycogen water weight. Um, which that's where I get that five pound number from. So that's going to vary from individual to individual. It depends on your body size, how much glycogen you're storing, uh, how many carbohydrates have you been eating, and therefore how much glycogen do you have, um, the types of training, the types of exercise that you participate in. Because if you're uh, like, let's say you're running a lot, you might be burning through your glycogen stores more readily than someone who is not exercising in a way that is using their glycogen. So just depending on the person, on average, it might be five pounds plus or minus of water weight when you start or stop a low carb diet. But again, it's not, it has nothing to do with your actual weight loss. It's not going to interfere with your weight loss. It's not going to undo anything. Um, it's just the water coming on and off as a result of the glycogen coming on and off. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.